Hi guys, so today I wanted to do the controversial parenting tag. Um, I noticed a lot of other mums here on YouTube were doing it, so I thought I would share my views on the subject. So, pro-life versus pro-choice. Now, I don't know, I'm kind of in between on this subject. Like, for me personally, I could never have an abortion. Um, it has never been an option for me. Me and my boyfriend both um, have pretty much decided that we don't want to have any more kids, but say I were to fall pregnant again, um, no doubt I would keep it. Um, but then I kind of feel like, um, you know, I would never judge somebody else for making that decision that is completely up to them, so I would just stay out of it altogether. Um, baby wearing. Now, I don't really see how baby wearing is um, controversial, but um, I never baby wore with my son, but I have with my daughter. Um, you know, in some ways I like it because you have that closeness to you when you're carrying them around, but I don't like how they get so heavy when you're carrying them around for too long. Um, yeah, I haven't done, I haven't baby worn that much, but I have found it um, convenient a couple of times. Um, for a week, a while back, uh, I was without a car, so I had to take Blair to Kindy on the bus, and I just found it easier to have her on the front pack rather than try and get a big bulky pram onto the bus. Um, baby oh, adoption. Um, I think adoption is great, you know, I, I don't think I could do it myself, ever, but um, I think it's really great that some people um, can give up, up a child, you have to be so strong to be able to do that, um, but there are so many parents out there who can't have kids and adoption can be the only way to go for them, so I think it's really good. Baby piercing. Um, now this is something me and my, par um, my partner haven't discussed yet, but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to wait till she's old enough to decide on her own. I think, um, you know, I know that most girls want to have um, their ears pierced anyway, but we'll just leave it up to her, I think. Um, breastfeeding versus formula. Um, I like both of them. I formula fed my son. Um, I breastfed him for the first two weeks and then I had formula fed him ever since and he did really well. But I have breastfed my daughter exclusively since she was born and she does really well on that as well. I don't think, um, you know, I think that babies do just as well on either. Blair did, you know, great on the formula. I have found a downside to breastfeeding, you know, I do not regret breastfeeding at all, like everybody says, breast is best, but I go back to work in four weeks and she will not take a bottle at all, she refuses it. I've tried five or six different bottles hoping that it was just, you know, she didn't like the teas or something like that, but no, she will not take it. So. I may have to hold off going back to work um, longer until I can get her to take a bottle. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I don't think anybody should judge somebody for the way they decide to feed their child. I think um, either way is great. They're both healthy for the baby. So um, spanking. Um, <laughs> I do spank my son, no, 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 no. but only when he's been no, really naughty. I always, you know, it's. I tell him not to do that three times, and if he still does it that third time, then he gets a little tap on the bottom. And I would never hurt him. I do not hurt him. I, you know, I, li I like to just give a little bit of a scare just so that he knows what he's doing is wrong. And just from my personal experience, it is something that I've had to do. Um, I don't know if it's just boys, but I suppose I'll find out when Ella gets a little bit older. But um, I just found that he stopped, 
he stopped taking um i used to put him in the corner and he just you know they i was told to put them in a corner for a minute per age so if they were two years old you put them in the corner for two minutes but um he just after a while he stopped taking it seriously and he ended up just you know he'd play with her um by himself in the corner and he'd be laughing he'd be laughing at me Leah Yeah, so, you know, I have tried other methods of um, discipline before it got to that, but um, I'm finding that's the only thing that works. Um, co-sleeping. I didn't co-sleep with my son, but I have co-slept with my daughter. Um, I've just found it easier with, um, you know, just breastfeeding. If she does wake up in the middle of the night, I can just bring her into bed with me. Um, which I found really handy, although she hasn't slept in, in my bed for wow, wow. probably a month and a half. She's been sleeping through the night, so there's been no need. But I think her sleeping is good for that reason, and yeah, I think as long as you're not a deep sleeper and you're aware of what's going on around you, because I know there's all that worry about rolling onto your baby and all that, and then suffocating. But I've n never had um, that worry or that issue. Um, home school versus public school versus private versus charter. Um, I don't know what charter schooling is, but um, yeah, I don't really know anything about charter school. Home school isn't um, very popular in New Zealand. I have never known anybody to do um, homeschooling and for me I was not the brightest at school and yeah I think I would prefer somebody who knows what they're talking about to be teaching my children. Um, I went to public school and I think that's where we're going to be sending our kids as well. Um, private school for me is just um, way out of our price range. We couldn't afford to send them there to begin with. But, um, you know, I think they don't dodge any more than what they do at public school, you know, like drugs and alcohol and smoking and all that. I think it really depends on what crowd um, they choose to participate in. And um, I reckon it's just keep your fingers crossed that you have brought them up well and they know to stay away from all that so we'll be vaccinations I have vaccinated both of my kids I um, they get vaccinated for free and it prevents them from picking up anything dangerous so I'm all for it I think the pros of vaccinations completely outweigh um, the cons you know um, <coughs> I agree with. Um, medicating babies. I do not agree with medicating babies. I completely try to stay away from them if I can. Um, I've had this argument with my boyfriend's um, mother a couple times when Blair was a baby. It was always as soon as he started showing signs of a cold, oh you need to take him to the doctors, he needs antibiotics and all that. And for me, <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold. Um, but for me, I think that you should always try and, and I think it applies to adults as well as um, babies, you know. I think try and let your bodies fight it off first before you decide to go and get um, antibiotics. So, yeah, I've always tried not to give my children any antibiotics unless they have really really needed it. Um, cloth diapering versus um, disposables. I have used both. I used disposables with my son and I use cloth diapers with my daughter. Um, and same again, I think they're both great. There are upsides and downsides to both of them. Downsides to disposables as they are um, 
They take a long time to decompose and they do um, harm the planet. But the upside is they're so convenient, you know, it can throw them away once you're done with them, so it's easy when you're out and you know, there's a lot less cleaning involved. Oh wow, wow. Cloth diapers obviously save the environment, but there is a lot of washing involved. Um, but I enjoy cloth diapering. I never thought I would. The, I never even considered it actually with um, my daughter. The only reason I've ended up using them was my cousin gave me a whole bunch of them and so I started looking into it and decided to give it a go. I had no idea I'd stick to it but I've been cloth diapering for about three and a half months now so yeah I think they're both good. And the crying it out method, I have used the crying it out method and I've had to. Um, my son used, was a really good sleeper when he was a, a little baby. And then around um, eight, nine months old, he started realizing that if he cried in the middle of the night, I'd come in and give him a cuddle. And it just, gosh, it was such a bad idea. I'd always run to him as soon as I heard him cry and I had to learn that. He wasn't going to stop until I just left him. So um, I had to use the cried out method. I don't agree using it on a, a little baby. I think it just stresses them out. They don't know what's going on. And usually a little baby cries because they need something. They're hungry, their bum needs changing, or they're just overtired. So um, I would never do the cried out method on Ella yet. but. When she's a bit older and if it comes to the point where um, I need to, I will. So those were my views on all the subjects. I hope that I helped somebody. Bye!